Hey, my name is David Biederbeck with Beckmotion.com, and um, I've got another tutorial about importing Cinema 4D models into Element 3D. I recently received a message asking me if I could figure out why this particular model, a particular model, was not uh, separated into separate layers once in Element 3D. Um, typically, I would probably just ignore a message like this, but I saw. Uh, that he was banging his head against the wall. You can see that right here. And from exp from personal experience, I can say that that can be dangerous to your health and a hazard to everyone around you. So, you know, I've just felt compassion and pity on this guy and said, you know what, what the heck? Let's just download it and see what we've got here. So I went ahead and downloaded the link and um, opened up the file, which is here, and ended up with this and I saw that you know everything looks okay because I had seen other models that were in null objects uh, being imported as separate pieces in element 3d but my first instinct was well I'll throw all of these objects into their own nulls and take them out of this main one save it as a separate one we'll call it moss 2 and then try to import it um, so I opened up after effects through element 3D on my layer, and then went ahead with an import. So here we go. Uh, we have zero um, layers. The trigger, the uh, whatever this thing is, uh, can't be animated, and so or it can't be torn apart. Whatever you want to do with it, it's all one single layer, and that doesn't help me in most scenarios. So. I was like, what the heck? So I, I went ahead and made different layers here, threw them into the layers. I did a, um, I looked at them, I turned off um, the, the UVW tag and the normal tag, whatever the case was, and um, still couldn't figure it out. Uh, and then I just realized, you know what? They're all using the same exact material here. They're all using the same material, and um, maybe that's the problem, because when I looked at Andrew Kramer's um, models, they all had their own separate distinct materials. So uh, this already has all the information in it. I already have all my different pieces for bump um, and for the textures and whatnot, and so that's already saved. So I just figured, you know what, let's just make a couple of new materials and um, throw them on there and see what happens. And that's what I did. We'll call it one, two, three, four, and five. Throw it on each of these layers. Then I'm gonna save it as a new file. Call it moss3. And import. And there you go, they're each in their own um, layer. And um, going from on from here, as you may have seen on Andrew's um, site or on Video Copilot, you can turn off each of these individual layers and then assign them to groups where they can individually be animated. Now, the good news is we already have those textures from the original model. If, I'm, if I go in, I can import um, those materials and still use the original materials for specular, for bump, all of the above. Um, but now because I've assigned different textures, I can just delete these and um, and still have my individual layers that can be animated. So hopefully that helps you. It's really simple. Evidently, uh, Element 3D only recognizes new layers by um, by different materials. That can help you actually if you have a bunch of different layers um, and and even different materials on them. You can uh, assign s simple materials and then use your own materials after the fact inside of Element 3D. So hopefully that helps you. And again, my name is David with Backmotion.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that helped. Bye.